starting to get cold now and I didn't have a uh, blower assembly or a heater core hooked up when I got the uh, EG Civic. <clears throat> so I pulled this out of a, an EG a couple months ago. So now taking it apart, cleaning everything. Got an evaporator case too. Looks like it's in okay shape. But this blower motor doesn't seem to, doesn't want to spin. So I'm gonna take this case off. See what see what the holdup is. And this thing is filthy. Probably won't have AC in this car for a long time. Probably not until uh, I put the uh, uh, K the Type S swap in it. But I'm gonna go ahead and clean this out. Sorry about the camera being crooked, but it's the only way I can get the camera mounted. Fuck. Well, I was worried about that. I was just about to say, I wonder how I'm going to get these clips off without sending them to the moon. Fuck. I'm going to put a rag over it. Pop them up. Hopefully not hit myself in the face. Uh, you know what? I think I could unscrew the actual blower motor from the case. But I already have it part. So yeah. It's definitely seized up in there. I don't think I'm pretty sure it should freewheel. So it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and take the blower motor out of the case before I mess up that that plastic groove there. see it's not much in inside the groove here that's why I was wondering if there's shit down in there but I mean I doubt this motor is that it has that you know reduction gear or something in it and this permanent magnet so I doubt that it has that much force on it oh shit well I just fr I freed something up that doesn't sound good so this is a this am I on a uh, 12 volt pack that I made out of some old cells that I harvested. It's 12, 12 volt. Ah, they had the polarity on here. That's nice. Yeah. Positive and a negative here. Yeah, I guess it's fair to say this, this motor is no good, which makes sense because it's fucking seized. This looks like it pops up, might be where the uh, connections are on the motor. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, look at that, yummy. I just ordered a new one. I can go ahead and clean the case and install it and it's easy enough to get up underneath here and install this once it's on you know easily swapped out I'm using uh oven cleaner because this is all i got right right now and i figured 
this stuff is aluminum. It's, you know, hey, cleans a grill. I guess it cleans surface metal pretty well. We'll see. Oh, yeah. Doing this is to get all the smells or anything that. Out of this 200, 300,000 each four door EG that I pulled this out of. Actually, it might have been a coup. I can't remember. So what they're doing on these is on this, there's a, this motor here, a servo. It's, it pushes this latch, which moves us forward, which then take, which there's a, um, looks like almost like a filter here. It's a flap. And the flap comes like this, and you can see where, if, you, if I get an angle, you can see where it's, mm, it's kind of hard to see now that I've cleaned it. It comes up and it closes off here, which closes this off. And this sits on the intake up underneath where the cowl is, underneath where the, where the wipers are. And this is your fresh air intake. When that's closed, it's just recirculating. And then when it's open, it's bringing in air from the outside. Okay. Now the evaporator. This bitch has got a lot of stuff in it. Might be easier for me just to take the case apart. I might as well. kind of fungus or something that eats fucking styrofoam, I don't know. Whoops. Thermo switch. Yeah. Fucking roach in there. I'll have to clean that out with a hose or something. So it goes like that, a hole for the thermo switch here. Thermactic switch, whatever, whatever. Fuck. I imagine this here is where your uh, the resistor box for the fan control goes to. Controls the uh, one, two, three, four on the uh, selector. It has two or three different coils of wire that act as a resistor and slows, slow the fan speed. I went ahead and put this uh, blower back in here. Um, in case y'all are wondering, this uh, bit actually is a, it's a T25, but I mean a flathead will work on it, it has that groove in it, but T25 definitely easier to put it, when put it back in. I'm going to go ahead and clean the evaporator. Also, yeah, uh, taped off the uh, intake on uh, both sides of the evaporator. Definitely don't want to get water down in here. It's just going to be that much harder to, to get it evacuated. So I clean the evaporator, got all the gunk from out, out of the fins. So I'll go ahead and reassemble this. This is the top, I'm pretty sure it doesn't have a drain on it. That's the top of it. The bottom of this tray here 
this is where the drain is. You can see that hole. It's the drain is. So if you ever have these apart, definitely want to try to clean out if any of the shit's down in there. That's why it's important to clean, the, especially the evaporator case out. Which this one I didn't really clean all that well, but it doesn't have to be spotless. But um, yeah, because if you get that, if that gets clogged, this case will actually fill up with water and it'll leak into your floorboard. So on the Hondas, it doesn't really seem to ever happen, but on a lot of other cars about the same age, it happens a lot. The styrofoam kind of sits down. This one's all mangled, but the styrofoam sits down into the valley here and blows in there. And you'll see the these little clips on the bottom line, line up here to these things. It fits in like that. So you can see uh, where this tube comes down. There's a block of styrofoam in it there, and the tube just sits around that block, which it only goes in one way, so. Okay. Make sure not to, don't forget your uh, sensor. This must be the exhaust side, or, yeah, the intake side, it has to be. I think like this, this sensor is sensing what the uh, air temperature is and tells 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 the control unit whether or not to turn the uh, compressor on and off or when to. This here, your uh, screw is going on both sides of the uh, in, um, connections, one here and one there. Now I'm missing the uh, the seal that goes around there, I mean, it's pretty much corroded and gone, so I may need to replace that to get better airflow because I'm gonna get, get an air leakage right here where it comes in. But there's a groove here that the screw goes into to help you get it aligned. And it'll fit there tight. If you got a brand new seal on there, you probably should just make one. Just to say, I was just about to say, don't be an animal and torque down that thing. It's just plastic to grab it onto. Probably strip it. Having a uh, another Honda to one that's completely just ready to be junked. Take it and strip it down. Get all the bolts and everything out of it. You got a big box. It's just my my cachet to go to for bolts I need. And Honda only uses probably only ten different types of bolts they use on the whole car. So reassembled, cleaner than it was. Still got to replace the blower motor. So I'm gonna make another video on when I install the. Uh, Assembly, the blower assembly. Uh, on my car, someone's had the dash out, and when they took the dash out, there's a behind the dash goes all the vents. There's a plastic diverter box, and they broke a lot of the ducting on it, and it's kind of misplaced and loose in there. So I'm gonna bolt it down and secure it, get everything where it needs to be, and then I need to uh, also figure out uh, some hardware that I need and find the harness that's tucked under there and put it where it needs to be so that I can hook up all the connections here. And I also have to install this so I can control the damn thing. Um, and 
I have to relocate my gauges because I have a plastic uh, gauge holder, three gauge pod that uh, goes in the place of this. So I gotta figure out that and I can install this. So I'll make another video when I do this. I'll be doing that in about a week from now. So if I helped you guys out anyway, for uh, just the small things you maybe needed to figure out on here, uh, give me a like and subscribe. I'll see you uh, on the next one.